many a times you people must have heard that the leopards have entered the village or the elephant died due to electrocution this is what we will be studying today hello and welcome to the in focus series section of drishti ias i am aisha singh and in today's video we will be knowing everything about the human animal conflict so let's see what all we will be knowing in today's video first we will be looking at what is the news then we will be looking at the important points of news and the men animal conflict data then the data related to the death of animals elephants tigers and humans then what are the causes because of which human animal conflict takes place preventive measures that can be taken and the best practice model or the case study in the end we will be looking into advisory for management of human wildlife conflict then a prelims mcq and a mains practice question this topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 conservation related issues this topic is important mainly from the mains perspective as these points that is the causes preventive measures best model and ad advisory can be really very helpful for you in writing your mains answer so let's get started and see the news this news has been taken from the indian express and the news reads telling numbers toll of human animal conflict on tigers elephants and people so the central idea in this news is the human animal conflict so what is human animal conflict see human animal conflict mainly talks about when humans and animals comes face to face and this leads to loss of property or loss of life so what has happened is the uh, minister of state for environment forest and climate change ashwini kumar chobe has answered a question in the lok sabha regarding the human animal conflict data so he has given the data for the years 2018 2018-19 to 2020-21, so around four five years data he has given, and it talks about that around 222 elephants have been killed by the electrocution between 2018 to 2021. 45 by trains, 29 by poachers, and 11 by poisoning. so this is the data for death of elephants which has taken place in the last 4 to 5 years then between 2019 and 2021 around 29 tigers have been killed by poaching and around 197 tiger deaths are under scrutiny then about the human casualties it is not that only Uh, the animals are dying the loss is also of human life and elephants have killed 1579 humans in the last 3 years uh, in 2019 20 585 humans 2020 21 461 and 2020 21 22 and the maximum deaths have taken place in the state of odisha followed by jharkhand then west bengal assam chatisgarh and tigers have killed 125 human in reserves between 2019 and 2021 and maximum number of deaths by tigers has been done in and reported in maharashtra so are 222 elephant deaths that have taken place by electrocution in this also the highest number of deaths has been reported in odisha that is 41 followed by tamil nadu and assam and odisha also has the highest number of elephant deaths caused by trains so if you will see that the number of deaths that is taken place highest in which state so that is the state of odisha now the poaching deaths were highest in meghalaya and the poisoning deaths were highest in assam see this is getting little factual but don't worry i will come to the conceptual part also but these are the data which has been presented in the lok sabha so this uh, you do not have to remember every single digit in this 
बट द ट्रेंड और द ओवरऑल डिजिट्स यू कैन रिमेंबर सो दैट इट विल रियली हेल्प यू इन राइस राइटिंग गुड आंसर्स वेन इफ द क्वेश्चन कम्स रिगार्डिंग द ह्यूमन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट सो लुक एट दिस इमेज दिस टॉक्स अबाउट द टाइगर्स एंड द ईयर गिवेन इज टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी See, humans killed by tigers is fifty, forty-four, thirty-one. So it is decreasing. Tigers natural deaths forty-four, twenty-four. This is also a on a declining trend. Then unnatural death three zero two. Tiger deaths under scrutiny. Then that is twenty-two seventy-one one zero four. So this is the point where the number of deaths have. increased poaching deaths is also decreasing that is 1784 and seizure 10 7 and 13 so tiger deaths under scrutiny is the only point in which the trend is increasing the death number of deaths is increasing so now let's see and this chart talks about the number of deaths of elephant this is the year 2018 19 1920 19, 20, 20, 20, so this is humans killed by animals 585 461 one. so this is all, all decreasing the number of deaths of humans by elephants is decreasing then elephants killed by trains this we see a lot in news this is 19 14 12 this is also declining elephants killed by electrocution 81 76 and 65 declining then by poaching 6 9 and 14 so the number of deaths of elephant by poaching is increasing so this is the point that you can keep in mind that by poaching the number of deaths of elephants are increasing then by poisoning 9 0 2 and around 533 humans have been killed by elephant in 2021 2022 so after going through the charts of tigers and elephants let's come back to elephants killed by electrocution in particular this only talks about electrocution earlier than this what we saw was about um, many different factors but this is particularly about electrocution so if you this is 2018 19 19 20 and 2020 20, 21 this is the state list of states so if you will see among all the maximum number of deaths in 2018 19 have been in the state of odisha that is 24 then in 2019 20 maximum number of deaths has taken place in the state of tamil nadu then in 2021 maximum number of deaths have taken place in the state of assam but overall if you will see then it is odisha that is 24 9 and 8 so every year the number of deaths of elephant by electrocution is increasing or uh, is taking place in different different states so now let's see further about the causes of human wildlife conflict what are the causes that why the human wildlife conflict takes place first is habitat loss so if the place of living of animals will not be safe and will not be available to them or would be decreasing then where will the animals live they will try to reach out to new places so they come in conflict with the humans then the growth of population of wild animals is also increasing nowadays changing cropping patterns many a times it has been seen that uh, elephants or, or uh, the animals they get very attracted towards the cropping patterns of humans and they tend to come to those crops and then they destroy it and human animal conflict takes place then movement of wild animals for the search of food and fodder so if the insufficient food is there in where, the place where they are living then they come to the other place in search of food then illegal collection of forest produce habitat degradation due to 
अर्बनाइजेशन एंड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स वॉट हैज बीन सीन नाउ इज दैट बिकॉज ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन एंड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन नाउ दैट द पॉपुलेशन इज ग्रोइंग एंड इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट इन द कमिंग ईयर्स ऑल्सो इंडिया विल बी वन ऑफ द इंडिया विल बी द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट पॉपुलेटेड कंट्री सो द पॉपुलेशन विल नीड मोर एंड मोर स्पेस फॉर देम सेल्फ टू लिव and in search of more space what is happening is urbanization is increasing they need more and more land and industrialization is also increasing so the forest area is on a decline because the human population need more space for themselves so the space for uh, the animals is becoming less so these are the causes due to which the human animal conflict takes place then what is the impact of the human animal conflict it is not that only uh, humans uh, suffer or only the animals suffer it is the loss of to both it loss of prop property loss of life takes place to both humans and animals then crop damage takes place livestock also gets damaged damage to human property and destruction of habitat so whenever if there is a human animal conflict it does not gets uh, uh, restricted to only that place it tends to move to many other places also and it affects the surrounding area and the surrounding ambience also now let's talk about the preventive measures that can be taken to reduce the instances of human animal conflict or what are the ways that we can take from our end so that this animal human conflict is reduced first is surveillance surveillance is important we can like keep a surveillance both on humans and animals so that humans do not disturb the animals and animals in in regard do not disturb the humans then improvement of habitat what we can take we can we can take measures or the forest department can take measures so, so that they can keep a check on the habitat of the animals the uh, if the habitat of the animals will be sufficient or will be in regard with their need then the animals would not move out from their place of living then relocating of animal habitat this can be a very very important points that the forest department or the government can keep on looking for new new places where the animals can go and start living in particular so that they do not come in contact with the humans instead they can be shifted to some other place or they can be relocated to some other place then awareness and training programs these two steps can be a revolutionary a uh, uh, revolutionary idea in themselves because see if humans can be trained how to deal with animals if there is a human animal conflict instead of panicking and taking actions in uh, in response to it we can just train people or can awareness can be spread among the people so that they can handle the situation with cautious and they can handle it with uh, utmost uh, dignity so that uh, both the humans and the animals do not suffer so the forest department can tell them the new techniques or the tricks so that they can like uh, uh, they can get in contact with the animal and they can handle the situation with ease then boundary walls can be created between the area which are very prone uh, in which the area in which the human animal uh, is very intense or takes place on a regular basis then the boundary walls can be created there which can prevent uh, the contact between the human and the animal then crop insurance if the animal comes uh, in the uh, area of the farmers then it causes a great damage to the crop and it becomes very difficult for the small and the marginalized farmers to cope up with that loss so crop insurance can also be increased so these are the preventive measures which can be taken and the human uh, and the human animal conflict can be reduced now let's look at the best model or the best practice this can be very very helpful for you in writing in the uh, mains exam as the case study 
this is uh, this will fetch you uh, extra marks if you will write this in your answer right answer writing then what has been seen in the son sonitpur district of assam has been regarded as who some something which has done extremely well in this uh, aspect of human animal conflict so what has happened is sonitpur district in assam where it has been seen that here also the destruction of forest had forced the elephants to raid crops so the uh, what has happened that the forest was started degrading and because of which the elephants raided the crops or elephants came uh, in the uh, farmers area and they were destroying the crops so what happened was that the wwf that is world wildlife fund india they developed a sonitpur model during 2003 2004 so what they did was they involved the community members who was living there and they were connected with the state forest department so the state forest department and the community members they worked together in association and the forest department they gave training to the members of the community and uh, how to work with them to drive elephants away from crop so the forest department people they trained the uh, community people that how to deal with the elephants if they they are in contact with the uh, humans so they uh, they trained them and the world wildlife fund india gave a low cost single strand non lethal electric fence to ease the gardening of crops from elephant so by this non lethal electric fence what happened was it, when the uh, community member they uh, used the uh, non lethal electric fence then it it worked for them also and it did not cause harm to elephants also so their purpose was fulfilled that human animal conflict was not taking place and even the elephants was safe and even the community members was happy that elephants are now not raiding their crops so the crop loss is reduced to zero for four years in running and human and elephant deaths were also reduced significantly so this is how this sonitpur district of assam worked and this was a very very successful model so this can be really very helpful if you want to take the screenshot you can take yeah so now let's see the other spec this is advisory this is advisory for management of human wildlife conflict and it has been approved by the standing committee of national board of wildlife what they have uh, said is that they have said that empowerment of gram panchayat needs to be done in dealing with the situation of uh, human animal conflict as per the wildlife protection act then more power should be given to the gram panchayats as they are the people who are living there so they know better or they can deal with the situation better or they can handle the situation better and with ease second is utilize add on coverage under the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana for crop compensation against crop damage due to human wildlife conflict so add on coverage can also be given then augment fod fodder and water resources within the forest areas so if food and water resources will be present within the within the forest area then it will be easy for, for the elephants to find their need inside the forest only and they do they would not come out then a few other measures are interdepartmental committees at local and state level can also be formed adoption of early warning systems early warning systems can be really helpful as they can like uh, they can alert the people that this uh, some human or animal conflict is about to take place then creation of barriers or the boundary walls then dedicated circle wise control rooms with toll free hotline numbers which could be operated on 24/7 basis so that in case of any emergency 
पीपल कैन बी कॉन्टेक्टेड और द पीपल हु आर अंडर नीड दे कैन कॉन्टेक्ट द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट और द पुलिस इफ दे आर नीडी नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ प्रिलिम्स एम सी क्यू एंड यू पीपल नीड टू टेल मी द आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट आर द मेजर कॉजेज मेजर कॉजेज वॉट आर द मेजर कॉजेज ऑफ मैन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन इंडिया फर्स्ट इज एग्रीकल्चर एक्सपेंशन ह्यूमन सेटलमेंट ओवर ग्रेजिंग बाय लाइफ स्टॉक फोर्थ इज डिफॉरेस्ट्रेशन सो यू नीड टू टेल मी द करेक्ट आंसर यूजिंग द कोड्स गिवेन बिलो एंड द कोड्स आर टू एंड थ्री ओनली वन टू एंड फोर ओनली टू थ्री एंड फोर ओनली लास्ट इज वन टू थ्री एंड फोर ऑल ऑफ द अब सो इफ यू मस्ट इफ यू हैव हर्ड द स्लाइड्स प्रॉपरली और यू हैव सीन द वीडियो प्रॉपरली यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इजिली सो इन दी एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ मेन्स प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन आई थिंक यू विल बी एबल टू राइट दिस वन एग्जामिन द रीजन फॉर राइजिंग इंसिडेंट्स ऑफ ह्यूमन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट and suggest some possible measures to tackle this problem so this is 250 word question in this you have to tell uh, you have to talk about two things first is what are the reasons for the rising incidents of human animal conflict and in second part you have to talk about the measures which can be taken to solve this problem so on this note we will finish today that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing